Hey everybody, AJ here. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna upgrade my Surface Pro X from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 11 and Insider Build. I'm gonna run this video over a couple of days to get a real feel for Windows 11 on the Pro X. Of course, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really wanna supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump straight into this. So of course, the first thing we're gonna do is upgrade this computer here from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 11. And to do that is really quite simple. We're just gonna to go to the start menu. We're gonna type in Windows Update and we're gonna enroll into the developer preview. So you're just going Windows Update Settings. This is gonna take us into our settings here. I've actually just gone through and made sure this computer is fully up to date on Windows 10. On the left hand side, I'm gonna scroll down to where it says Windows Insider Program. I'm gonna open that up and now we're gonna enroll into the Insider Program. So we're just gonna go get started. We're gonna link our Microsoft account and then we're gonna have three options here to enroll into the Insider program. At current, the only Insider build that gives you Windows 11 is the developer channel. So that's the one we're gonna put on here today. So we're just gonna go continue, confirm. It's gonna give us some privacy statements and program agreements to read if you wanna open them up, or you can just go confirm. And now it's gonna ask us to restart the computer now or later. We've just done the restart on the Pro X here. Next, we're gonna go over to the start menu, type in update and go check for updates. You can see here that we are now downloading the Windows 11 Insider Preview. I'd recommend if you're doing this for yourself, make sure you put your computer on charge. For now, we're gonna let this download and install and then we'll start testing out Windows 11 on the Pro X. The Pro X installed the Windows 11 Developer Preview without a problem. I've restarted it and I've updated it to make sure it has the latest version of that Dev Preview. And now the first thing we're gonna do is uninstall the Office that is on here and then reinstall Office for Windows 11 on ARM. Reason for this is Microsoft recently announced ARM 64 EC. The EC stands for Emulation Compatible, and it's again another attempt to help developers move their programs onto ARM for Windows 11. It allows the application to run in full emulation on Windows 11, but developers can go in and they can optimize parts of their code instead of rewriting the entire program, and they can choose the parts they optimize so it runs better on ARM, and then the rest of it can run in emulation. But you don't have to worry too much about that right now because we'll keep an eye and see what happens over the next few months. For now, we're gonna uninstall Microsoft Office and then we're gonna reinstall it. So we're in the settings here and I, for some reason, have two versions of Microsoft Office. I'm gonna options uninstall. That was just the click to run, so that actually should be quite easy to uninstall. So I just wanna let you guys know that while it was doing the uninstall of Microsoft Office, OBS crashed and the computer just kept popping up with errors about OBS not working. So we're gonna uninstall the 32-bit version of OBS that was installed on here, and then we're gonna reinstall it from the Microsoft Store to see if that fixes the issue. But that's our first problem we've run into with running Windows 11 on Surface Pro X. You can, of course, download Microsoft 365 from the Microsoft Store, but everything I've read online so far for the Surface Pro X says you're better off downloading it from the office.com website, and we're just gonna go install. It should automatically understand during the Office setup that we are running Windows 11 on the Surface Pro X, which has the ARM processor, and it should install, and I say should because we haven't tested this out yet, and it should install the 64-bit version of Microsoft Office for ARM. So let's open the file here, check out that setup, and see if it actually works. So Office installed without a problem. I've jumped into Microsoft Word, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna join the Office Insider program. To do this, if you don't know how, you're simply gonna go into Office, you'll go File, and go down to where it says your account. And then on the right-hand side here, you can see it says Office Insider. So we're gonna drop down the Office Insider option, and then we're just gonna join Office Insider. This is very similar to joining the Microsoft Developer Preview for Windows, but we're doing it for the Office program and the Office Suite. So we're gonna sign me up for the early release. We're gonna go for the beta channel. This is the earliest preview, and that is where the Windows 11 64 EC version is. And then we're just going to agree to the terms and the conditions. We're gonna let it check and apply for the Office update, and we're gonna hit OK. So now it's gonna to ask to run it again, and it's going to, I don't wanna insert a website, I don't want any emails from them, but I'm gonna go okay. 
the insider preview has just installed on our office build you can see that because it now it says you are signed up for the beta channel down here and if we go to the about word section or essentially about office section we open that up and you can see up the top here it says microsoft word for m365 64 bit now this isn't going to be a full review on the office suite running on the pro x but this is as I use this over the next couple of days, I'll let you know how it goes, if there's any lags, if there's any issues with it, or if it's just a seamless experience, and if it's better than using it on Windows 10 as I was before. After using the Windows 11 Insider Preview build on the Surface Pro X for a week, I can tell you the build is a lot more stable than I expected it to be. I only had one green screen of death in the entire week and I've been using this as my main PC. Of course, there were a few niggly bits where things like the touch would stop working for a second or something wouldn't install, but a quick start, restart, fixed the issue that we're having. So as a early preview build of Windows 11 on the Pro X, it is actually a really stable build. The other thing we really concentrated on testing this week on the Pro X was the beta preview of the 64-bit Microsoft 365 Office Suite on here. There were a few things that I really enjoyed about the 365 Suite, namely the visuals. So watch when I launch it, it's got the nice rounded edges around Microsoft Word and all the applications. And you only saw that for a second because these apps have become a lot faster. They're even snappier than before. So loading and launching is a lot quicker than it was on the Pro X. And if I launch into say a blank Word document here, I do love that those rounded edges have really come into all the programs. You can see in the ribbon up the top here, we have nice rounded edges. It's not going end to end, but it sort of floats there. And it's nice little UI changes that make it feel like a fresh version of Word. And again, 365 has been extremely stable if you're using things like Word, Excel, Outlook. The programs work really well. But I have noticed one big issue, which for me means I have to take it back to the regular version of 365 because this right now is a deal breaker. And that's when I go into Microsoft Outlook. You can see in Outlook again, it's that nice UI design change that's traveled across. Um, I've also turned on the features coming soon and all the taskbars that used to be down the bottom, your email, your calendar, your, your people, they've actually moved to the left-hand side here, very similar to Teams. And if you go on the ellipses here, you have more apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. So I feel like they're taking some of the great things about Teams and moving into the Office applications. But that's also where my biggest issue is when it comes to Microsoft Outlook and this Insider Preview at the moment, is the fact that I've lost the option to create a Teams meeting in Outlook. So under new items here, I don't have Teams options. When I go new meeting, I can't actually put the Teams meeting button in here. And when I go into my add-ins, even though the Teams add-in for Microsoft Office is here, when I do go to add it and I go OK, it will tell me I need to do a restart, but the add-in just doesn't work on the application. I use Outlook and Teams as a big part of my day, so not having the option to make a Teams meeting in Outlook is actually really disruptive to my workflow. Overall, the Windows 11 Insider Preview Builder on the Pro X has been extremely stable. It's been a joy to use. I will make more videos giving you updates and testing out different things on here. The Microsoft 365 preview as well, that has been great as an individual application. It loads really fast, it's extremely stable, the new UI looks great. But for me, having the break between the Teams add-in between my Outlook and my Teams client, that might force me to go back to regular 365 for a few weeks, just until Microsoft fix that and iron out that bug, because Outlook is such a big and crucial part of my day. Of course, if you guys wanna see other things tested on the Pro X, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more of my content, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.